This particular condition um, is classified as the most painful neurological condition known to man. I, I can honestly say I wouldn't have understood it unless I had lived it. My name's Adam Sachs. I'm a neurosurgeon at the Ottawa Hospital. My clinical focus is in functional neurosurgery, which is the treatment of movement disorders and complex pain. Trigeminal neuralgia is a pain syndrome characterized by brief, lancinating, painful shocks in the face. The pathophysiology is not completely understood. Definitely involves the trigeminal nerve and an artery compressing the trigeminal nerve at a weak spot in its insulation. So it started off very mild, um, you know, in that December, January was just literally a, like a light buzz kind of running through my face. Um, very weird sensation, but it wasn't really painful. It was just buzzing, um, but it gradually um, progressively got worse. And there were certain things that were incredibly painful. Brushing my teeth was almost impossible. It was done, but it was beyond painful. Um, a cool wind touching my cheek could set it off. So it was actually a very big relief to have, um, to know what was causing it and then to be brought in so quickly and seen by the staff and then them recognizing sort of how quickly we needed to move to have this done immediately. This is an MRI of uh, Michelle's brain. Uh, and this is the left side, this is the right side, this is the brain stem. Uh, and you can see the nerve, the trigeminal nerve and the vessel loop that was compressing the nerve. We were able to see that on the MRI. It just takes you back to a different spot to remember all that we went through to get to where we're at today. The surgery went very well. We were able to dissect the, the loop of the superior cerebellar artery off of the trigeminal nerve. And she woke up immediately aware that, uh, you know, despite the fact that this was a big operation and there's pain from the operation, and um, she woke up immediately aware that her trigeminal neuralgia had been treated. Yeah, I remember waking up um, in the recovery room, I guess. And I remember very clearly, though, a nurse that was standing beside me um, that was so kind to me. I remember him um, rubbing my arm and, and saying, hey, you've had a really rough day today, but you're doing great. Hang in there. And that memory is actually a very wonderful memory of the recovery. But I remember the sensation immediately of waking up and understanding that my face did not have electricity running through it. And it was very exciting at the moment to realize that um, that pain was already had subsided minutes after when I had the first realization. I think when you come out of an experience like this, there's so much gratitude. Uh, you know, in many ways, Adam's a big part of my life. He saved my life. I have five kids. He gave my kids a mom for the rest of their life right now. And that's really meaningful. There's a connection that he'll be a part of my story of my life forever. And uh, literally, Adam saved my life. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> that's, that's, a mic, that's a mic drop moment. I have, I have nothing. <laughs>